the concept behind my class is to pick up where other classes in the graduate school of political management leave off. A lot of the GSPM is focused on political campaigns and organizations, and what I'm trying to look at is how the knowledge and experience from those political campaigns and organizations gets applied to governance and social change. So there are two goals that I have for the students who take the class. The first is to get them thinking differently about the way political organizations and government should be looking at the challenges that our society faces today. I think a lot of the approaches that we've been taking to solving significant issues uh, is outdated, particularly given the way society has changed, the way technology is influencing how we think and the expectations we have of our leaders. And if we can approach some of the challenges differently, I think the solutions that we will come up with will be uh, more productive or more constructive towards addressing those problems. Second, I want to try and actually apply the knowledge and experience that students gain not only at the GSPM but in their political campaign work to the actual work of governing and addressing significant social issues. Uh, we need to get out of theory and into practice and actually having people apply this new way of thinking and this knowledge towards addressing many of the, the serious challenges that we have. So I broke the course into three pieces. The first third of the course is really looking at the history and context behind uh, media, government, and social change. So we'll be looking at things like Saul Alinsky's Rules for Radicals and a lot of the history of how social movements began, how they were sparked, and how they resulted in meaningful, measurable, substantive change in government policy, in behavior across society, and similar. In the second uh, third of the course, we'll be really looking at how things are changing as a result of technology and the internet. Um, I wrote a book entitled Media Rules, which we'll use, but we'll also use a variety of the leading thinkers like Howard Rheingold and Clay Shirky, who are looking at the different forces uh, being put on government and media and how information uh, flows differently and how people are getting and sharing information differently and what that changes in terms of the role of media, the role of government, the role of communities and individuals in our society, and certainly the expectations that we all have for government and these other institutions to actually uh, bring about this meaningful, measurable change. Then in the third section, we're going, to, we're going to try to apply that knowledge. We're going to take the history and the context and the understanding of what is shifting as a result of media and technology, and we're going to apply it uh, in specific cases like climate change, like healthcare, trying to craft uh, not only better approaches to creating you know, new and interesting policies or legislation, but, but, as, but the substance of those policies and that, that legislation as well. And we're going to do that in essentially a practicum format where uh, students will have an opportunity to sort of embed themselves into some of the leading organizations and offices where these discussions are taking place, bring back the knowledge of the current experience, apply their understanding and, and perspective from the rest of the course, and come up with campaign plans or game plans for how we address these things. Um, I'm excited about interacting with the students. I think there are a lot of ideas out there. I think there's a, there are new ways to think about these problems. And I think, you know, myself and, and many others, hopefully the, the students who join me in the class, are, are frustrated and tired of uh, seeing the same old approaches uh, and the same old solutions to issues being proposed and not making the kind of progress. And I think if you take the understanding of how change has happened in the past, you add in uh, in appreciation for how media and technology are changing society, you can uh, begin to bring about the kind of change that we all want. So thanks again. I, I, I would love any feedback or questions that people have about my syllabus or the course. I apologize again that I'm not able to be there with you, and uh, thanks again for the opportunity to talk a little bit about my class.